By the end of this video, you're going to learn four unique and practical ways to use a reverse tool in Filmora 9. Keep watching! Hey everyone, it's JJ from Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that notification bell so you're always updated on our next video releases. Do you want an easy way to pull off a professional shot or a fun trick that adds excitement to your videos? Well, Filmora 9 has a tool that you can use to reverse clips, and it's good for more than just making your friends walk backwards. In case you didn't know, let me show you how you can reverse clips in Filmora 9. Just select the clip on your timeline, click on the speed gauge icon, and choose reverse. That's it! Here are four interesting ways that you can use a reverse tool in Filmora 9. Let's go! If you use physical title cards like the ones written out on paper, you can film yourself destroying them and then play them in reverse so they look like they're magically appearing. In this example, we filmed the title cards being crumpled and then reversed the footage so it looks like the paper is miraculously repairing itself. You could also try dripping paint on them, shredding it, or even lighting it on fire. But make sure you use the right safety precautions because you don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> In the next tip, we're going to talk about perfecting your dolly shot. Having the camera move towards an object or subject that's blurred and having it come into focus as you stop is a cool effect, but it can be hard to pull off when you're manually moving the camera or using a DIY gear. The tricky part is making sure to stop your camera fully so there isn't any stutter, slow, or shake. So why don't you just start at the end where your camera's already stopped? Place the camera where you want it to be at the end of your shot and make sure your subject is in focus. Film for as long as you want the end of your shot to last. Then pull the camera away until the subject is out of focus. You'll have to use a lens with a shallow depth of field, so everything doesn't stay in focus regardless of distance. When you reverse this clip in Film War 9, you get this really cool effect where you start off far back and it's all blurry, and then it zooms right in for the object being crisp and in focus. Have you ever wanted to have a character punch at your camera? It's a great way to show the point of view of the person that they're fighting. However, you run the risk of someone actually hitting your camera and damaging it. If you start filming with the character's fist already in front of the camera and have the actor pull it back, you can reverse the footage in Filmora 9 to make it look like the fist is coming at the camera. This way, you're not putting your gear at risk. This technique is actually used with a lot of movies with cars. Having a car crash into a Hollywood camera is probably super expensive. So what they do is they have a car in front of the camera and then have the car drive backwards. <music> Lastly, I'm gonna show you how you can summon things into your hands like you have telekinetic powers. Start with a shot of yourself holding whatever it is you wanna summon, like this coffee cup, and then pose like you've already caught it. This may mean holding your hand or arm a bit farther back. Keep filming as you throw the cup away. You'll want to set up something soft nearby like pillows, blankets, or even a sofa to protect what you throw. When you toss the object, try to keep your head and eyes facing forward instead of following the object. And then move so you're using the item you summoned. In this case, I took a sip of coffee. And there you go, some really cool ways that you can use the reverse tool in Filmora 9. Are you guys gonna give this trick a try? Let us know in the comment section below, or even better, send us your videos so that we can see what you create. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys next time.